welcome to science. Today we're going to be doing an experiment that models the water cycle. You guys made a booklet about the process of the water cycle, so we will go over that and talk about how our experiment models each step of the water cycle. You will also need your experiment worksheet. Let's get started. For this experiment, you're going to need one big bowl, one smaller bowl, some salt, some cups of hot water, some pieces of saran wrap, and some ice. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to dump the hot water into the bowl. I chose to use two cups, but you can just do one. I used my teacher mugs. Now we're going to mix some salt into our hot water. You can see it's steaming. Just put some salt in, and I'm going to stir that. Then I'm going to put a smaller bowl or cup into the middle. This is our land. The water around it is our ocean. Now you're going to put the two pieces of saran wrap over the top, making sure that there are no gaps. The cling wrap that you're putting over the top symbolizes the clouds. Once you have that secure, then you're going to take your pieces of ice and put it on the top. This symbolizes the cool atmosphere above the clouds. Then we're going to wait about 10 minutes to see what happens. We're going to see if precipitation happens. When the hot water evaporates, it makes condensation in the clouds and then it causes precipitation. So we're going to see how that's modeled in our experiment. So I'm gonna leave this right here, and then we're going to talk about some of our vocabulary. You can follow along in your booklet. The first word is evaporation. Can you say evaporation? Evaporation is the process of liquid turning to a gas with the addition of heat. Evaporation. The next step of the water cycle is condensation. Condensation. That is in the clouds. Water evaporates up into the clouds. This is the process of cooling a gas or water vapor into a liquid. The next step of the water cycle is precipitation. Can you say precipitation? This is the process in which liquid falls back down to earth. So the water goes from the collection site, so for example a lake, up to the clouds, and comes back down through rain. Or for some examples, snow or hail. The next word we talked about was collection. This is the process of precipitation being collected in lakes, rivers, puddles, or as groundwater. So this is why it's called the water cycle. Once it rains, it's collected into a lake, a river, a puddle, or ground, and then it starts all over again with evaporation. That is why it's called the water cycle, because it goes around and around. Now, on your worksheet, you will see that this matches the experiment that we are doing. So let's see if we can see any of these steps yet. It's been about three or four minutes. So 
what do you see on the side of your bowl? I see some precipitation. The heat is rising up to the top, trapping it in the clouds, and it's going to come back down. Really cool, right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to label each part of the water cycle that corresponds to your experiment. So you can pause the video now, wait about 10 minutes for your experiment to finish to see all the results, and then you can fill in the it's raining water cycle words. Now that you've waited 10 minutes and you have seen the results, you can fill in your worksheet. So let's see what happened. The collection site is the water down here at the bottom. That was our ocean. Okay. Then the precipitation is all of these bubbles and things you see on the top of the saran wrap and around the bowl. The evaporation is the heat of the hot water rising up into the clouds. And then the condensation, you can see underneath the ice cubes, there's condensation that has formed. Okay? So you can see each part of the water cycle in this experiment. Before we go, let's review the parts of the water cycle. Collection. Can you say collection? In this case, we talked about collection of an ocean. Evaporation. The hot water from the bottom of the bowl evaporated up into the clouds or the saran wrap. Condensation. That was the saran wrap. The ice cooled the gases and formed liquid. So it's liquid form precipitation, or in some cases, rain. So as the top causes condensation, it's going to start to cause precipitation or rain, and it's going to drop down onto the land or the small bowl. Great job following along and learning about the water cycle. Bye everyone!